Okay, well, we started Brood Awakenings um, as with the name Brood Awakenings three years ago. Prior to that, we've been here for over five as Donald's Bagels before that. I'm John Knaus. You know, the, the, the population, as you call it, is a good word for it. It's a, you know, the customer base are really our friends, the students, uh, you know. We, have, we continue to have a great relationship with them and love seeing more of them come on into the school. Um, but of course, during peak times, we have a hard time handling the traffic that's there. And it's, it's, it's sad to see some days that even with the four people and the two registers, you get people at the end of the line that, um, that don't have time to get their food between classes. So it would be great to have ways to expand our, our ability to, to speed things up for them. six years I'm the manager. We provide food service to the community, college community here, students, faculty, staff, everybody. My name is John Lewis. My title is Associate Vice President for Business and Finance and I've been here um, 26 years uh, because I think the bottleneck becomes when they're preparing food. So there's only one small workstation, so that means only one person is actually preparing the sandwiches, whereas if they had a second or a larger area, then more people could be in the actual sandwich production part of it. We obviously pack four people in a little, you know, in a little triangle as you've, as you've seen it. You know, we have one working coffee, one sandwiches, one running each register, doubling to do the frozen drinks behind them as needed. Um, that's the maximum we can put in there. If I could put five, I would simply because we want to serve as many people as we can at that time. But you just can't physically be, have that many people in a short space be before them backing up on each other. Now, to be fair to the workers, it comes in waves as you would expect. Like, you know, and every time the class ends for that 10 minute break between the two, it's extremely busy. The havoc you mentioned. And then, of course, in the middle of class, it's not that busy, so there's time to restock you know, for people to go out and take a break and all. So it's not a crazy situation, but of course, everyone would like a little more elbow room, yeah. At least two people doing the same thing, whereas one person, it's only space for one person. It's not new technology. Of course, you know that it got started by Henry Ford. The assembly line, of course, where you would have somebody greet the customer, um, put their food together, and send it on down, put the, perhaps put the toaster right there in the line. So the bagel toasts up and is buttered afterward or the sub roll we've expanded our offering to a lot of wraps and all then that's topped off and then a registered person takes it at the back you wouldn't have all that turning around that we have to do where the you know where the order is called out and the person makes it and has to turn around and it would just be more ergonomically correct where everybody's doing a part of the order and thus you can move things along probably double our speed if we were able to do that this is simply not possible with, this, with the size that it is right now. Right now we have to make the food behind, take the order, make it, and pass it on up. So every sandwich is made one by one. It would, you know, it would increase exponentially if everybody could start working on a sandwich and that could just go through the line. I guess anything's possible. I don't see an easy answer. I've taken a look at it. I mean, it was built as somewhat of a novel concept. Each school in their new building were incorporating a small coffee bar, and I think it was intended to be just that, a coffee bar. And, and we've greatly expanded it uh, based on the demand of students and, and offering the bagel sandwiches has just driven up the, the volume. And so the size, I think, would be adequate if it were just a coffee bar. But I, I think it's become so much more, and the space is not adequate for, for the volume that's there. I, I guess I'm a little surprised that students are willing to wait that long. 
I would love to have room to make, have the students be able to grab their own sodas and chips and all the grab and go stuff. That doesn't, you don't need to have someone grab it for you. We don't need to be human vending machines. I'd like to be able to have more area so that we could, you know, we could process the food and, and serve it out more effectively. Um, but I don't want any of this to come at the expense of us not being here or being moved or something like that. So if that's possible, yeah, we'd love it. In the meantime, we're just grateful to be here and love the students. If, if there was a way to make it a little bit bigger and still make it look like it fits or was intended to be that. I mean, you can do some things and, and they then, then it takes away from the look. I think all of us are very proud of the way Shul looks, the way it's been maintained over the past five years since it's been in existence and I, I don't think we want to do anything to take away from that um, and, and, and I think it's great that the Brood Awakening has been so popular that means that they provide a good product um, and students like that and so I don't want to do anything to, to hurt that um, and certainly anything we can do to expand it to make it a little bit more efficient would, would be my dream. So I was coping with a small space we just system, uh, being able to intertwine back there with each other. We just deal with it on a daily basis as far as what I'd like to see changed around here. Back in that space is just to allow us a larger prep area so that we can serve the customers better, get them out of here faster. Um, maybe by moving the drink cooler around, put a lot of prep area, put the babies behind the prep area. That's, that's what I'd like to see done. It's humbling to think that you guys, while you're you know, being customers to us, are concerned for our well-being as a, as a company, and that is nice.